1.5 Volume of Right Pyramids and Right Cones. Let's go through a couple of terms before we get too far into this. Volume and capacity. So volume is the amount of space an object occupies. It's measured in cubic units. It could be centimeters cubed. It could be millimeters cubed. It could be meters cubed. If we're talking imperial, we could have inches cubed. We could have feet cubed or cubic feet. We could have cubic yards. Those are the volume measurements we're likely to deal with. Now, capacity is similar to volume, but it's not exactly the same. Capacity is the amount of material a container holds. Capacity could be measured in all the same units as volume, but other options that you're likely to come across, milliliters, liters, fluid ounces, gallons, anything that liquid is measured in. Now to further press the difference between volume and capacity, let's think about a water bottle. Volume is how much space that water bottle takes up, but capacity is how much water actually fits in the bottle. In the real world, the two are not the same, because the water bottle walls have thickness, the lid has some space, there's going to be places where you actually can't put water, so the capacity in the real world is going to be slightly smaller than the volume. So here's our formulas. Volume of a right prism is the area of the base times its height. Now to make sure we understand what a right prism is, it's any shape that has the same base and the same top, and the walls go up at 90 degrees. Rectangles, squares are right prisms. Technically, so is a cylinder. When we move over to look at a right pyramid, the formula for volume is one-third of the base area times the height. So a right pyramid is one-third the volume of the same sized right prism. These formulas work doesn't matter what the shape of the base is, whether it's a rectangle, a triangle, an octagon, it will work. You just have to find the area of the base, times it by the height. And in the case of a pyramid, then divide by three. Let's do some examples. So here we have a right rectangular pyramid. It's got base dimensions of 5.4 centimeters by 3.2 centimeters and a height of 8.1 centimeters. So just like any time we have a word problem, figure out what we need to find. We're looking for the volume. What information are we given? Base dimension of 5.4 centimeters by 3.2 and a height of 8.1. We got a nice convenient diagram already drawn for us. If you don't have a diagram drawn, draw one. This is a visual section. It is easier when you can see what you're looking at. By formula, volume equals one-third the base area times the height. Let's start off with our base area. That's 5.4 centimeters by 3.2 centimeters. That's a rectangle. So area of the base is length times width. We've got our height. That's 8.1 centimeters. And then our formula is one-third. In fact, I prefer to write this as divided by 3. Let's multiply all the top numbers together. 3.2 times 5.4 times 8.1 gives me 139.97. Divide that by 3, and I've got a volume of 46.7 cubic centimeters. Don't forget your units. And in this case, our units are going to be cubed because it is a cubic centimeter. Next question. Calculate the volume of this right square pyramid to the nearest cubic inch. I want you to be careful on this one. I've said it before and I'll say it again, math teachers like to be tricky. Let's start with our formula. And this is where we run into problems. My formula asks for a height. In the question, we gave you the slant height. That's not useful directly, but we're going to have to use it to find our actual height. So what I'm going to do is draw one a little internal triangle. So there's where my actual height would be. Draw it across to there, so that's a little triangle inside. And I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for that particular piece, that height. Let's start off with that blue triangle from the inside. I know the hypotenuse is 6 inches, and this bottom leg corresponds with half of that 4 inches. So that's going to be a 2-inch bottom leg, and this is my height. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem. 6 is my hypotenuse. Okay, let's go through and finish that up. Okay, I've got my height. Let's go and finish up our equation. 4 times 4 times 5.66 gives me 90.51. 90.5 divided by 3 gives me my volume, which is 30.169 and a whole bunch more decimals. Round that off to the nearest cubic inch. My volume equals approximately 30 cubic inches.